My name is Janavi Harrison and I'm from London. Many people ask me, actually, some people don't even ask, they just assume that I'm George Harrison's daughter or George Harrison's niece. I used to just say yes and just see how long <laughs> they, I could continue the joke for. But actually, I don't have any biological connection with him. But since a very young age, I, I feel like he's part of my family because I grew up at a place called Bhaktivedanta Manor which is a spiritual community just north of London. The property, the building itself, donated to the Hare Krishna movement in the 1970s. My mm. parents were already living there, so for me it wasn't, wasn't a choice I made to be part of the community, but it was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. I would say that that's where my spiritual path began. Very naturally, in the teenage years and early 20s, you're, you're really trying to find your identity. There have been times in my life where I really questioned what is it that I'm a part of and what is my part to play? Who am I? Do I even believe in all of this? I don't know. So I think those times are really a blessing because they force you to go deeper. You have to question and you have to have answers to why am I still choosing to remain in this space or, or, or follow this way of life. I'm not sure if I have an answer for really where what, what is my offering, what is my place. Certainly, if somebody asked me 10 years ago what I thought I would be doing now, it's very different from what I am doing. <laughs> um, it's still really a, a journey of, of understanding. From the spiritual tradition that I'm raised in, of bhakti yoga, deepest understanding of, of one's identity is to be a servant of humanity, of family and friends, of everyone. And just to really understand that at any depth, it's not an easy thing and, and to practice that. So everything that I'm doing, although in one sense I'm searching for identity, in another sense, it, I already understand what I'm aiming for. <laughs> I'm just trying to get there. My main activity is music, kirtan. Many people know me for devotional singing. I'm also engaged in a lot of other artistic different activities. On a broad, on a broad definition, the word kirtan means to glorify or to praise. And I try to make those also kirtan, putting an, up, an uplifting message out into the world. Kirtan, devotional music, is really a language from the heart. If we want to experience real uh, friendship, real intimacy, it is through this experience of Kirtan that we can discover it. Kirtan is really the, the panacea, it's the medicine for, for all problems. It's for all people, for, from all places, and it's something which gives great uh, fulfillment and satisfaction to the heart, um, and it's the su most supremely purifying thing. For me, 
it's the most uh, purifying and uplifting feeling of anything that I've experienced. And the other thing is that it's like a, I find there a shelter, a home in sound. Wherever you go, this sound can be, can be there. I could be in Australia in, a, in the middle of a forest. I could be at the bus stop. And that sound is um, giving this feeling of shelter and nourishment and safety. So this is something that I, I would hope everyone could experience. That's why I dedicate some time to, to sharing it. I've traveled around the world quite a bit in the last few years and it is very interesting to see different, I mean, having that experience of, of, of sharing kirtan, you get a little flavor of uh, that, that place and that culture. There are definitely differences between different countries and cultures, but ultimately the effect that it's having in the heart of the, of the listener or the participant should be the same anywhere you go. I'm always looking for depth, depth in, in, in exchanges with people, depth in experience of life. Seeking depth or expecting of myself that I should get deeper. Um, depth and uh, trying, trying to be sincere in, in whatever I do. Hare Krishna Mantra, the Maha Mantra, is soundtrack to my life. My parents were were singing it, chanting it, listening listening to it. When I was born, the sound was there, and uh, it's a very special mantra. It's actually the the specific prescription for this time that we live in. It's the specific medicine that's going to work the best for me. Um, it's really an experience of developing relationship with this mantra, with this sound vibration. It has a very special significance. It's like an alarm clock for the soul. By the power of this mantra, a person can reactivate relationship with God, wake up to who am I, what is my purpose in life, how can I really be happy? You could become a great horseman. and help free yourself in this world. Though only if you in prayer become sweet lovers. Kirtan is an experience which you can return to every day of your life and have a new realization or a new connection. It's just like a wonderful friendship. It never gets tired or old. Kirtan is a place to um, bring your heart to whatever is in your heart at that moment, whether it's something uh, very heavy or some joyful feeling.
I think if you've never tried kirtan, you just try it once with all of your focus and attention. And I can pretty much guarantee that you'll, you'll get a, a hook because there's nothing else like it.